So we're out here today. Uh, we're going to be clearing some trees and we are going to be constructing a uh, wetlands pond. Um, we're going to be heading down. We're going to take these trees out and on the back side of these trees is a low area that we're going to dig 30 inches deeper and we're going to create a wetlands pond. Technical term is a mackerel. So what we're going to be doing with all that dirt is we're going to bring it up on this old railroad bed this old railroad bed drops off real quick right here so we're going to build this all up real nice through here and we're going to continue on the other side and we're going to go back down on the other side so that way our customer can plant this all to a nice food plot with his little tractor be able to come up and over a nice gradual hump and uh be able to create habitat for pheasants, deer, rabbits, all kinds of animals. So uh, I got to 200 here. I punched a hole through so I could get to this side because this is the side I want to make my brush pile on. And I got me a road roughed in so I could get to this site because there's no real good access point to get through here. So I started taking trees out just to gain access. And I'm going to continue on this side. I'm going to head down and get out to that grass field out there. And then I'll make a brush pile. So I got the 200 Hitachi with the grapples on it. So I'm going to get started and see what I can get done today. Um, I'm going to try to get the clearing done today. Dad strengths on his way with the payloader and the grapples to help me carry the brush. So I'm going to try to get some of this uh, uh, to a, a point where he can get around with the payloader up in here. So... I'm gonna get started. Okay, so I finally got through to the other side, and uh, now I'm gonna go back through and uh, clean up some of the trees that I laid off to the side, and then I'm going to uh, start taking out the rest of the trees. Um, this runs at about a 45 degree angle. I'm following a gas line that's well over there on its own uh, right away, and it's already cleared. So I'm in uh, no way, shape, or form in danger of uh, harming that gas line uh, and we did have it located it's all marked out so I'm gonna be working uh, this way so I'm actually getting away from it and uh, so I've only got probably I think I need to go about 50 or 60 feet that away and I'll have this uh, all cleared off and uh, this side will be done and we'll get on the other side of the railroad and get that site cleared and then we can start digging that mackerel and bringing the dirt up here and filling in where I just came through and make this all nice sloped area. So I'm going to get these trees out and then we'll get on to them other things. Well I've got that side of the railroad all cleared off and uh, dad strings here now with the loader moving trees out of my way and uh, helping me take them to the pile which is a huge savings on tracks on the hoe because he can just pick them up and get them on wheels and carry them. So uh, now I'm working on this other side of the uh, railroad here, the old railroad. And uh, I got to clear through here at an angle. And then uh, once I get all these trees out, we'll be done. So then we can start moving dirt and uh, get uh, this build up and tapered out real nice. Looks like it's going to rain soon. I hope it does. We need rain bad. It's very, very dry out here. I mean, it's hard and dry and really dusty, so we need some rain soon to definitely help out. So, Dad, Strength, and I got all the uh, trees cleared off of this area, and uh, we're going to start digging our uh, mackerel that goes here. Since this is a wetlands project, we're going to be digging a, a mackerel that will be actually for frogs and reptiles to live in. And in six months out of the year, it'll be dry bottom. There'll be no water in it. But this particular area, it's pretty low, and it's already got some water, so it'll probably hold a little bit of water. Um, we're going to go 30 inches deeper than the original ground level here. And we're going to take that dirt, and we're going to haul it over there to the old railroad. And we're going to taper up and over the old railroad and create a big food plot over there. It'll extend out to about right over there. So uh, we got the haul truck here. We got the 200. We're going to put the bucket on the 200. And uh, we're going to start digging and start moving dirt. 
So my dad's over digging in one of the ditches to turn it into a pond. And once he's done over there, he's going to come over here and help us dig with the 270. So then we'll have two hoes running. Because part of this mackerel we'll just be able to throw behind us to create what we want to create. We don't actually have to haul the dirt. But uh, we're going to have to haul most of it over on the other side of that old railroad to make the uh, make it a gradual slope. So some of it's got to be hauled. Some of it can just be thrown and graded off. So... Uh, we're gonna get started now. Now you can see what I'm doing here. Um, it, it's rough. It's supposed to be rough. Um, I leave little piles of dirt, ribbons of dirt, stuff like that out there because that's what the frogs and the turtles like so that they can uh, kind of work themselves down in and around all them chunks and little hills and valleys out there. That's called undulation. That's what they call it on the, the prints for this project. Is any wildlife pond or wetlands pond like this, you want an undulating bottom. And that's what we're doing. So I'm going to dig this whole section back that I'm sitting on. And all this dirt is getting moved up over there. I'm going to have to take the hoe and I'm going to have to transfer a lot of this over there because Dad Strength's having a hard time pushing it because we got six tenths of rain last night and it left it pretty wet so he's having a little trouble so i'm going to help him here in a little bit once i get this whole corner dug out and then i'm going to get on that side and pull all that back and uh slope it to the uh to the uh specs that they want us to slope it to and then uh i'm going to continue on out there once we get out there it rises up a little bit so we can use the haul truck to haul uh, right now we're kind of in the lower spot where it's pretty wet so we're just kind of throwing it with the hoe and pushing it with the dozer and whatever it takes to get it moved so once we get up there then we can follow this high ridge around and back right up to where we need to go and dump so I'm going to keep digging I think we can uh, probably almost knock this whole pond out today uh, I can only go 30 inches deep that's all the deeper I can go and uh, I can go from just scraping the top off down to 30 and I can leave humps. So if I want to leave it uh, from top down 24 inches, I can do that also. Or anywhere between that 30, I can uh, leave it, you know, higher or lower. And that's, uh, they want to see that. They want it rolling and undulating and all that. So it's kind of one of them deals where you just come out here and you start digging and you let your imagination go wild and uh, see what shape you can create and what the bottom of the pond how you can make it look so it's kind of fun digging these um and like i said the idea of them is to dry up six months out of the year so it's got water in it right now but it's pretty wet out here so it'll be interesting to see it when they're in our wet season especially from the air this whole place looks pretty cool with all these ponds that we dug all over the place in different shapes so i'm gonna get back to digging and uh, see what we can get done today so we got all the wet stuff really dug out and moved with the excavator and dozer and we got up back up to the high ground now at the other end of the pond so now I've been loading a haul truck and hauling it to the other side of the old railroad and dumping it. Um, Dad Strength's been tapering banks off and making it look pretty around the outside but we've left the uh, bottom of the pond undulating. We haven't touched that because that's the way it's supposed to be. So. I've been loading the truck and running the hoe, so I've been back and forth, back and forth. So we're a little bit short-handed. So, but that's okay. Gives me exercise. So now this next load, I'm gonna back all the way in here, and I'm gonna dig my way back out and uh, just keep loading the truck so I can keep driving out with the truck. That way the uh, ground won't get so destroyed and the truck will stay up on top. So I'm going to go dump this and continue digging. We're going to probably take this whole area out here yet. Probably uh, about within 50 feet of them trees. So we got quite a bit of dirt to move yet. Probably won't get it done today like I thought. But we'll get a good part of it knocked out today. 